Hey everybody, Jimmy again. I wanted to demonstrate something about photo editing and the web and Flickr that you can not only use with your group projects, but I mean, just in general, this is probably one of the best tools a web designer can have. So I've logged into Flickr and I have Aperture on my computer in the background here with a photo that I took here in Houston. There are these bridges that cross over one of our uh, major highways and uh, there are some pedestrian lanes and I took one of these photos when I was out with my family and I figured I would use this as an example of something you could put up on Flickr so I dragged it to my desktop there you can see I put it on my desktop and so I'm gonna get aperture out of my way and I'm gonna upload this photo to Flickr and then we're going to from there edit it notice one of the cool things about Flickr is you can drag and drop so there are tools you can use to post photos, uh, but the drag and drop web stuff is portable. And all I have to do is have a browser and I'm able to get stuff on the web. So that's pretty cool. Notice from here, you get some options like I can add more photos. I can take this one out of this set. I can change the size it displays. I can change how they're displayed, sorted by name or location or date. Um, you can look at individual information and edit them right at this point. I can rotate my photo. So there's a lot of features right from here that are pretty cool, including Flickr is technically a social networking site as well as a photo hosting site. So I can tag uh, the individual photo with things like uh, US Highway 59 and comma Houston, comma... Um, Montrose bridges which is what these are that kind of thing so I can add metadata if I have people in them I can add them if I've got a set of photos I would like to add it to or if there's a group that I'm a member of I would like to add the photo to I can also change the visibility whether or not it's public I can change the copyright and some of the other things just from here I'm also going to put um, view from growl star bridge because that's where I was just a good idea to put uh, some information about the photo. And I could put a description, but I'll just leave it there. That's good enough for now. And I could, if I wanted, leave the editor open and add more photos, but I'm just going to go straight to my photo stream because I want to demonstrate one of the coolest features Flickr has implemented. So if you click on the photo to go to its page, so this is the page for this photo. Not only can I from here change uh, all of that information you saw before, including the size I want to view it in. By the way, if you're going to embed this on a web page, you can choose from all of these different sizes to embed. So the, Flickr is a really good way to host photos because not only can you edit all this information and share with a community, but you can also put it onto a, you know, a website of your own design. And all of that's really cool, but what I wanted to show you was the edit. Notice there's an option here, edit photo in aviary. Aviary is a really cool web-based photo editor. And it's not Photoshop, but it does most of the things a web designer would want a photo editor to do. And you can do it from inside Flickr, and when I'm done, I can save directly to Flickr. And I'm doing all of this from the web. It's also worth mentioning that Aviary has written this tool using HTML5, CSS3, and the latest JavaScript. So this is sort of cutting edge tech here. Um, you can enhance it, so let's actually choose one of these. I'm just going to pick the Magic Enhance and, and apply it. That sounds good. And um, you can, there are some really cool built-in effects, like that one was at Aqua, which adds the little border and it sets the uh, different lighting elements as if I'm using sort of an old camera. You can make it black and white, you can add sepia, I don't even know what Laguna is, again, with the old photo effects. And there are some other ones here you can fiddle with. Sam Carmen, Singe. I like Singe. It looks like a 1970s photograph. That's pretty cool. Or I can go back to my original. Um, oh, let's go with, what's that? No, no. Sure, that looks good. And notice that it took from the metadata when I took the photo, Monday, June 25th, 2012. So that's actual honest-to-God metadata from the JPEG file that's up on Flickr that this uh, aviary tool is going to stick in there. So that's cool. And there are a bunch of other tools. I can crop it. I can change the size of the image. I can flip it. There apparently are stickers. Oh, wow. I'm not using those, but you can. Um, there are some other tools here that if you've ever played with photo editors, you recognize. Change the warmth of the photo, which basically adds 
reds versus blues. Brightness contrast, the saturation, which you can either bring in more color, take away color. You can change the sharpness. You can draw on it. You can add text. And what else we got here? You can whiten it. That's clever. And there's a blemish removal tool. So all of that for free built into uh, Aviary, which is built into Flickr, which is on the web. Notice when I'm done, I can either replace my old photo or I'm going to actually save a copy. So I'll have my original photo and then I'll have this new one also. So Flickr uh, has lots of capabilities, but one of the coolest things is it's got lots of room for storing things. So I noticed I had left uh, a search item in my Google bar. It's pretty funny. Um, it doesn't always go super fast. Like here it still says it's uploading. So I guess we're just going to have to be patient here for a minute and hope that it actually loads and Aviary doesn't clonk out on me. Okay, cool. So patience is kind of the key here. Now watch what I can do. I can go to actions and I can go to view all sizes. Pick the one I want to put on my web page. Oh, let's say small. Let it think for a minute. And then if I wanted, I can right click on this and copy the image location. Now I've actually got the URL on my clipboard and I could post it to, so for example, Let's go to Tumblr. And I think I'm logged in. Yep. And I'm going to add a uh, photo here. No, I'm not logged in. So let me log in real fast. I haven't talked about Tumblr, so this is a good opportunity to sort of mention it. Tumblr is a social networking tool uh, and also a blogging tool. And I use it for uh, cross-posting to my personal WordPress blog. So I'm going to go post a photo. At least I'm going to try and notice I'm going to say use a URL. So I can put this on Facebook, I can put it on Tumblr, I can put it on Twitter. One of the cool things about this view from the Graustark Bridge is uh, with the tools that I have, I can also post to Tumblr, Twitter, and Facebook and my WordPress blog all at the same time. Edited via Aviary on Flickr. So there I can, if I could spell, Flickr. There we go. So I can set all of this uh, to work with Flickr without having to do anything amazing other than use my browser. And let's go back to the page. So then I'm going to set this up where when the user clicks the photo, it actually takes them to the photo page on Flickr. So let's take a look at that. There, see? So now when they click the photo, it'll actually open it up inside Flickr. And I could have put that on Facebook. I could have put that uh, URL for that picture into my uh, uh, HTML on my website, and it would have been stored on Flickr, and I don't have to worry about uploading it via FTP or anything like that. So uh, Aviary built into Flickr is probably the easiest, and it's certainly the freest way to not only host photos on the web for your web uh, projects, but you can also edit the photos. So you can change the size and add... Uh, uh, text onto them and things like that. So I encourage everybody to go onto Flickr, make yourself an account, use the photos for your group project on there and edit them in the same place. Cool.